What's up guys, Rise from Six Labs, and today we're going to build an opening cutscene that will play automatically and then pass back control to your character. I'll also show you how you can use manual focus for smooth pulls between subjects for that pro cinematic feel. This is going to be a simple, easy to follow setup, so let's hop in. Alright, so to begin we need to bring our main character into our level here. So for me, he's going to be inside my third person character folder inside of Blueprints. And I'm just going to drag him into my scene. Now, by default, if I were to press play, it's not going to automatically possess that character. So what we need to do is click him, go to the right to your details panel and type pawn. And right here underneath auto possess player from disabled, we're going to change this to player zero. So now if I press play, I'll be able to control him. All right. Now that we have that, we can bring our camera to the scene. Click our add object at the top, go to cinematic and click cine camera actor. Once you have this, we can now create our level sequence. So if you have a sequence folder, go here, create a new under cinematics level sequence. I'm going to name this opening sin test. And now I'm going to double click this, open this up and bring our cine camera actor from our details panel over here into our sequencer. Now, once you have that, you'll have your camera view. And you can also change your camera on the right in your details panel under film back. So you can change this to a DSLR or a 35 millimeter. I think by default it's under 69 DSLR, but we're just going to leave this on default for now. And we're going to close this really quickly and make sure we have our, oh, that's right. We need to drag our level sequence into our scene. So with this dragged into our scene and it highlighted right here, we're now going to open our level blueprint. So if you go to the top right here, we're going to open this. And from in here, because we highlighted that, we'll now be able to right click and you'll see this create a reference to opening cinematic. So this is our level sequence right here. So from our sequence, we're going to go play sequence, sequence player. Just going to organize this a bit, put this up here, plug this in. And then we're going to go cast to DP third person character. And our object is going to be get player character. And you'll also see the player index is zero for our character that we set. And we're going to disable input. So that way when it's playing through your cinematic, you can't move your character. And then we're going to set a delay. So this delay is going to make it so when your cinematic is done playing, it will resume um, character input. So we're going to go enable input so this is the end of our sequence here but this delay is going to be the length of how long your cinematic is so for that we can get a quick reference from our cinematic here and do get duration and we can use this now to plug into here all right and that's our blueprint so this right here is going to allow us to have our cinematic and then take control of our character Go to the top and go compile, save, go back to your scene and we can start making our cinematic. So I'm just going to do a simple one really quickly. I'm just going to open this up and make sure you're under transform here. And I'm just going to go all the way back over here. And I'm going to press enter under transform to create this frame. And then we're going to drag this all the way to the end here. Zoom back in. And from here we can press enter. So this is going to create this right here. And it's just going to blend straight to your character. Um, if we were to press play right now, we exit out of this, press play. <laughs> How cool is that? And from that, you can make all different kinds of cinematics with camera cuts and different pans around your scene. Um, what you can also do is actually use focal length now and manual focus to create some other effects here. So I'll show you focal length here is kind of like a fish eye. So if we were to blend this all the way out and then press, click this, press enter. So it creates a frame. It'll now create this large view effect. And now when we get into our character, what we can do is move this frame actually a little forward. So we have space to work with. Um, and then zoom into our character a little more. So press enter to make that. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think it's overlapping frames. Yeah. Okay. This, this is fine. 
So from here, what we can do is change our manual focus now to bring him out of focus and then press enter. That's going to create our blur. And now if we wanted to, we can create a frame over here now with him back in focus and press enter. So you'll see what that did is it made him blurry and then cleared him up. And you can use this in so many different types of ways. If you have a character standing behind him, you can have it cycle between focus of either target to make complex looking professional scenes. And with that, you should now have a simple workflow for creating cinematics in all your levels. Leave a comment below if you found this helpful, and I'll be back next week with another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. See you guys.